So this book, this book is almost 500 pages long. It, it, it's it's a, a whiny screed. And I say that as someone who, I don't think that Harry is entirely wrong. Hear me out on this. I do think Prince Harry has experienced wrongdoing aimed at him in his life. I think that he was mistreated as a child after his mother died. He wasn't given the resources to grieve. He didn't have the family support. He was probably treated like the spare to William's heir. All of those things are probably true. I think it's absolutely true that the British media uh, threw Meghan and Harry under the bus in order to prop up William and Kate, and that the palace, meaning William's office and Charles's office, trade negative stories about Harry and Meghan to the press in exchange for negative stories about William not being published. That's, I'm sure, true. I'm, I'm certain that that's true, and that's an awful thing to experience. He ha- So I think Harry has experienced some bad things, but when you make your identity one of a victim, when you publicize this kind of drama for the sake of publicity because you want to tell your quote unquote truth, it makes you pretty darn unlikable. Pretty darn unlikable. In fact, in fact, Harry and Meghan right now live in right outside Santa Barbara, California. It's just a couple hours north of San Diego in a very wealthy, very exclusive neighborhood called Montecito, California. They are neighbors with people like Ellen DeGeneres, people like Oprah Winfrey, um, and which also makes it funnier that Harry's complaining about this, 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 his life of privilege because he's in one of the wealthiest, most exclusive neighborhoods. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.